First, I'm going to tell you about Debo Samuel uh, as it comes to me straight from a Dallas Cowboy power that be guy from inside the star. But then we're going to touch on the warm possibility of Debo Samuel to Dallas. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Thank you for being part of what we do. Almost 52,000 strong in terms of subscribers. Tell your friends, subscribe up. It's free. Here's info. Uh, and some of this is info you'll get no place else. Regarding the tremendously talented Debo Samuel, uh, I engaged in a conversation the other day uh, with a mover and a shaker inside the star on the subject of the disgruntled do-it-all weapon Debo Samuel, who has certainly teased about the idea of being traded to Dallas Cowboys on social media. And of course, his desire to find his way out of San Francisco, that's no tease. That seems legit. Quote from this person, he's not going anywhere, Cowboys source. The San Francisco 49ers will work it out. I think that's the feeling around the league. I think that's why uh, there's, not, there's not very many buzzy stories about this, except this one. Because for me, that was pretty much about that, about that. That's that. Uh, but then uh, our old friend, former Cowboy scout Brian Broadus, doing the podcast, thinks there's something else worth mentioning here. In fact, two beliefs, really. Belief number one, that the one position that the Cowboys would be willing to give up assets for is wide receiver. And belief number two, that training camp could mean a change of position, no pun intended regarding Debo, a, cha a, a change of stance for the involved parties. Quote from Broadus, I think you want to keep in touch with those teams just so if we get to the point where you get to the training camp and you're not happy or you're, or you're talking about potential injuries, now, Broadus is talking here about Debo in San Francisco and then DK Metcalf in Seattle as well. So Broadus says, yeah, keep those warm as possibilities, sure. Meaning, maybe not the front burner, but you can certainly put them on the back burner and put them on low. Uh, we know Broadus pretty well. I don't think it's Broadus' intention here to stir up pipe dream emotions among Cowboys Nation. Um, you'll notice that we're, we're not screaming here, the Cowboys are trading for Debo. It's not that. So Broadus isn't trying to stir it up, I don't think. And I'm not completely trying to shut it down. Conceptually, Broadus, talking about uh, his Love of the Star podcast, conceptually, he's right when it comes to Jerry Jones's history. And we did the interview with Jerry not long ago in which he said, oh, Mr. Mack, I've still got reckless Jerry in me. Spend, spend, spend if you want to go buy the prize. He's done a lot of it. And so when Broadus, or you, or I, detail Jerry's history, especially of spending to get wide receiver help, it's a deep, rich, expensive history. Going way back. And then, of course, leading all the way up to Amari Cooper, which might be the end of that. Broadus, I'd like to believe that the one position that they would give up assets for, and history has shown that they've done it before, is wide receivers. So he says, so we'll see with the whole thing with Debo. We will see. I still believe that the whole thing with Debo will result in Samuel getting a 20 million plus APY deal that seems to be the going rate to stay in San Francisco. I just can't imagine how they don't value him. And I'm not sure why he thinks the grass would be particularly greener elsewhere. Same with Metcalf. Uh, in the case of a Cowboy acquisition where we still got people saying, that's a Jerry kind of thing to do. And I've told you, yeah, and, and if, unfortunately, the last time that was really a Jerry kind of thing to do, DK Metcalf was four years old. <laughs> so it's not, it's not very recent. Uh, it's too bad you couldn't have traded for DK Metcalf when he was four years old, knowing he would have been very affordable at that time. These are deals where we're talking about 20 million plus. In fact, every day that goes by, it's probably 25 and 30 and up, up she goes. And um, costly trade assets would have to be a part of this as well. I think it might have been Rich Eisen that, or somebody suggested, well, you know, maybe you could give him a third. A third? For DK Metcalf? For Debo Samuel? No. 
this this would be a pricey contract and a pricey trade. But uh, as Broadus first coined the phrase that I now borrow and use for my own, remember where I live. You know, I, I live in that building. Broadus has lived in that building. So as it relates to keeping these ideas warm, yes, that we can do. Fish.